channel so in today's video as you can see we are doing a more natural makeup look finally I know you've been waiting for this one and oh my god please tell me when there's a lipstick on my teeth because my lipstick still didn't dry and I'm talking fast so I'm totally obsessed with this makeup look it's like a cool tone look I I really wanted to do a cool tone look for the longest time because I did understood that it suits my eyes, my skin tone much better than the warm tone. So please let me know in the comments down below if you think as well like that. Yeah, I have nothing else much to say except I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye! So today's makeup is gonna be more natural. I will at least try to make it as natural as possible. I do love um, mostly a lot of base. I don't care much about the eye makeup, eyebrows, but I do always like to have a like thicker base, I would say, fuller coverage, foundation, powder, all the jazz. So for today I will try a little bit lighter foundation that I usually don't use. I always go for those full coverage. And for the foundation I'm gonna use today the Smart foundation. This is hydrating foundation uh, from Kiko Milano. <laughs> and yeah, it's very affordable this smart foundation and all the smart line from Kiko is very affordable. It is kind of very light foundation so I decided to try it and I'm gonna go for Warm Beige 05 and I think I will mix in a little bit of Natural 40 because I think the Warm Beige 05 is gonna be like too light for me. I mean probably not but I don't wanna be super white. And I'm gonna apply this foundation with a sponge to have like a very smooth finish. Maybe I put too much the darker color. <laughs> okay, so I did put too much, I think, the darker foundation and it really looks too much dark right now. I think it even oxidized a little bit, which is weird because I don't think hydrating foundations usually oxidize but it's definitely darker than I was expecting. So we will fix that with a concealer. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in uh, Fair Neutral. just mix uh, these two highlighting kind of powders the yellow one and the white one because the white is too white and the yellow is too yellow so I will just mix them together and the rest of my face I'm gonna set with the airspun translucent loose face powder for bronzing and contouring. I'm gonna use this one cool tone color. It's my favorite. And for my highlight I'm gonna use this color right here. It's like a very subtle highlight. Nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna go do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Eyebrows done. Moving to the eyes. Today I'm gonna use only one palette. This is the Voice Art Professional Professional Preview Matte Eyeshadow Palette in, in Neutral Mind 01. It's kind of cool tone palette, mixed warm tone, kind of. I'm gonna do a very natural look as much as natural I can. I don't want to do something overrated because I know lately I'm doing some really dramatic looks so I want to do this time something more natural. So I'm gonna take the white color right here, the first one matte shade and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone with this color. Now I'm gonna take the 
this color right here which is a pretty nude kind of peachy color and I'm gonna use this one as my kind of transition shade just gonna blend it in my crease bit on my crease and upwards kind of more making like circular motions and that way blending upwards now just very lightly I'm moving more to the crease and with the same brush that I use for my crease color just go over everything so everything is nicely blended now I'm gonna take the same white color and just apply all over the lid, kind of wherever the skin is peeking out. of the eye then I'm gonna take a black pencil and only also the outer portion of my eye kind of line I'm just gonna take like this from the pencil make sure the black pencil is very creamy because with like a dry pencil you will not be able to do it and just make a very tight line then I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the Essence Again the Baby Lashes. It's kind of more natural look, but I decided I'm gonna apply some false lashes. I'm just gonna apply a few of the single lashes like more to the outer part as I said I want to extend more the outer portion of my eyes so yeah we're just gonna apply some falsies so this is how it looks with the lashes as you can see I just put it only on the outer part and it really prolongs and smokes out a little bit the outer portion now to the lips I'm gonna use the Kiko uh, lip liner 533 in the smart lip liner this color by the way does not suit the lipstick that I choose but the lipstick that I choose is so like a weird color that I just cannot find like a matching lip liner and this will be kind of like a um, universal lip liner and for the lipstick I'm gonna use the creamy lipstick in 01 also from Kiko beautiful cool tone color it's like a mauvey color you can use any lipstick you want I just wanted to go for a little bit more grungy kind of look this is the finished look the finished kind of natural look more natural than usually I really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching let me know what you would like to see next time for our videos coming up and yeah I will see you next time bye